Hello everyone. Welcome to online study for you, a complete placement solution. Friends, from many days we were getting the multiple comments on our YouTube videos that sir Infosys layoff is real or fake. So friends, as online study for you, always provide the genuine information. So in this video, also we are going to tell you if the Infosys layoff was real or fake. We also have the proofs and we will be also telling you the reason why this layoff took place. Okay, so please watch the video till the end. And if you are new to our channel, then please do subscribe and click on bell icon. So we will discuss all those things, the proofs, what was the reason, percentage criteria, each and everything. And friends here, all the information I have collected from the student only. So either on the YouTube comments or through the Instagram chats. Okay, so you guys i mean the student has only informed us all the details and that is same i'm going to put in front of you okay now so let us start with the first uh, comment on youtube so sir i am terminated by infosys after six months i am also terminated by infosys after six months right so this is one of the proof where he has got terminated by infosys so friends one more thing which i wanted to tell you so before you watch the video so please do not get panic okay so please do not get panic so the eligibility criteria, if you fulfill, then there is nothing to worry. See, if you don't get this information through the YouTube videos and after three months, after four months, after six months, if you get terminated, then suddenly you will be having a shock. See, right now you can prepare yourself for all these things. You can send a mail to the company and you can ask if you fulfill the eligibility criteria and you can join or not. So please do not get panic. There is nothing to get panic whatever has to happen it will happen so this is this video is just for your awareness so if you do not fulfill the criteria then i will suggest you not to go for uh, any kind of mnc who has a eligibility criteria we will see what is the eligibility criteria okay so this is the first proof which we had on our youtube uh, comments right okay now the second which we got through our instagram message so sir countings were terminated forcefully resigned during june and july so here, you know, the many people have been already terminated and they have resigned during June, July. So I also asked, how do you know? So we got this update from some of the group. Most of us on hold, they are terminating us. Okay. Now, so this is one of the message. Then if we'll talk about the percentage criteria. So many of the students are telling, sir, 60% is a percentage criteria. Okay. But here we see. So I asked, you had 65% in graduation. So yes, bro, I had 65% in graduation few of my friends also has 67% also. So Andhra, AP, Telangana, few of the state has 68% criteria. Okay, so you can see here. So also 68%. So for Andhra Pradesh, for Kerala, for Tamil Nadu, for Telangana, so they have 68% criteria in the graduation. Okay, so if they do not fulfill the criteria, so let us come back here. Even they had 65%, and they have 68 percent they have kept on hold see i'm just reading their message i am not informed by any officials that this is the things this is a data and this is what is happening right so i'm just taking the data from you and i am making awareness about a student so that they will be aware about the things and they can plan so there is nothing to get panic either by the students or by the parents or by the employees anyone no so this is just for your information okay now so sir still i'm working with infosys till now so here the number was there so how many thousands uh, you know so i'm not going to uh, put down any number here so till now candidates are already rejected due to percentage issue and currently so there are so many candidates are waiting for release mail so if you have a percentage issue or any other issue so do not join infosys because after six months your employment is going to terminate so better join with other companies who do not have this kind of criteria so everything revolves around the eligibility criteria the percentage criteria okay now so friends you always have rights to ask to the company if you so many of the students were telling sir uh during the selection process okay there was no criteria mentioned or there was no 68 percent 70 percent criteria mentioned so friends you always have the rights to ask the question to the companies and even company is giving you chances sir uh, they are telling sir only 30 minutes that meeting they have no chance to talk so two days back one meeting and tomorrow is another meeting after 48 hours another meeting so this is the last meeting in that meeting we come to know terminated or continued so basically two to three meetings are happening okay so you have your points to keep down 
so you can keep your points that when i was writing the examination uh, there was no criteria or there was no 60% criteria there is no 65% criteria there was no 70% criteria so you can always keep your point they are giving you the time and even so if you have if you do not have some kind of letter so suppose if you do not have some kind of mark sheet if you do not have uh, you know some kind of uh, data then the company is giving you time okay the company will give you 15 days time or so on and you will be able to so in that meeting you can ask sir i need a uh, time to get all these documents the company will definitely support you if you are right company will definitely support you but if we don't fulfill the criteria if we are not right then definitely we will have to quit it okay so again i am saying in the complete video i will tell do not get panic this is just for your awareness so if you are aware of all those things then you can better plan so that is the reason i am making this video next so this was the criteria which we had got again i am telling you so i have not got from any of the official i have got from the you guys only and also many of the student has confirmed also that uh, you know it, it was not 60% they are asking for the state level cut ups okay for maharashtra and gujarat also you can see so be be take they had only 58% right and for rest of the states uh, they had 65% so basically uh, telangana they are telling it comes under andhra pradesh so telangana also they have kept under this particular uh, you know category only so now so being a student if you have any kind of problem so if you are going to join or if any doubts you have see we are not the right person to clarify your doubt okay see we can only pass the information to you so if you have any doubt then you can uh, send a mail to uh, infosys so there will be one i am not very sure about the um, you know the email id so offer update at infosys.com something like that email id will be there so i will try to put in the description box so you can send a mail to that that sir this is i am from this particular state my percentage is this uh, so do i uh, am i eligible for uh, you know joining in posis or not please let me know because later on if you get terminated later on if the problem comes so before that only you have to take the steps okay see friends i remember so when i had got selected in infosys the whole night i had not slept the whole night i had not slept so i know so the people who are getting terminated it will be a very a uh, sad time will be there for them it will be a very bad time will be there for them but friends something is better i mean something big is going to happen okay something big is going to happen something better is coming your way so don't worry so infosys is not only one company okay there are a lot of opportunities are there lot of options are there i also had not joined infosys okay so in 2012 i had got selected in infosys and i had not joined okay it does not mean i am not doing anything right now okay so don't worry about that friends it happens the bad time comes i know your family member might be uh, you know thinking that you got a job and then after 6 month if these things happen so your relatives so all the things it is very difficult to digest i am telling you it is very difficult see even i am feeling very very bad i am feeling very very bad and that is the reason i made multiple videos i felt like crying on uh, behalf of all you guys because when we lose his job i mean i see i i cannot understand your pain the the you know the difficult situation you are right now i can i cannot definitely feel that but somewhere i can feel that many of the student who got the job are definitely uh, going through this phases which is not right now so i will tell you the reason so what might be the reason it is not only for the infosys it is for all the service based company okay so it is for uh, all the service based company see uh, as far as i know so you know uh, all the service based company might have this kind of reason so let us see see the first thing is definitely uh, what company thinks that you are giving the wrong data so you can do anything with the company i mean the trust issue so basically this is a uh, ethical things which we should have so that is the first reason second reason is uh, actually what happens suppose i am a service based company and i got a project from amazon and flipkart okay so i i'm just giving a simple example and this is for all the companies all the service based company what i feel so i got a project from amazon and flipkart they said that you uh, you know might be needing i mean for this project suppose 5000 engineers are required okay now so they had they, there was a deal going on and that time company started hiring and that time company started hiring okay see i'm not talking about any particular company so here this particular reason page is not for any particular company okay now so this is for a general company 
now what happens so the company started hiring and somehow the deal got cancelled like how elon musk and twitter deal got cancelled right so they are fighting for each other they are fighting you know and this is going to the court uh, what is, that is what i heard so now definitely this 5000 engineers the one which is already hired so if they are not getting any project company has to pay so if you are paying 20000 also so 20000 into 50 5000 you can calculate right now so definitely it will be very difficult for company to pay and when the requirement is there you might have got terminated after some time or may, might not have got terminated now so company will be losing this much of money every month so what they will do so they will try to find out your weak point where see company cannot fire the employee directly i mean it's not like 5000 10000 15000 20000 employee fired without giving any reason now the company has a solid reason so any company will be having the solid reason that you don't fulfill the criteria and based on that you are getting terminated so this kind of reason might have there might been there i am i'm just you know uh, giving you one of the reason and at the end again i wanted to tell you friends so please do not get panic okay so this is just for your information just for awareness so that based on that you will be able to take a action okay so i hope this video will give you a complete clarity and i know again students will have lot of doubts they will ask sir uh, my percentage in 10th it is this much 12th this much graduation this much am i eligible you know to get into infosys or not friends right now i can't say anything because even i do not have a very good clarity on uh, the percentage criteria or the cgp cgp criteria because uh, see this is the, i mean nothing is released officially by infosys so i will suggest you better so instead of asking us like in 10th we had this 12th we had this and graduation we have this you please send a mail uh, to infosys on offer update at infosys.com okay they should be able to i will give give this correct email id in the description and ask them sir my uh, i belong from uh this particular state and i have this much of percentage or cgpa am i eligible to uh you know get into infosys should i join or not okay so friends please uh, do not take this video otherwise okay I, this is my uh, request don't get panic just try to understand that what is happening around you okay because we provide you the genuine information so that you will be able to plan nothing else is required and please do subscribe to our youtube channel and uh, click on bell icon so that you get all the updates whatever it is small or big update on time thank you